and helping you make life simple, ordinary, and joyful, here is another simple recipe that answers the everyday question of what's for dinner. This is my grandma's recipe. She used to make these packets of chicken in the oven and it would create its own little sauce in the packets and we would open it up on top of our rice and it was delicious. But even with these dinners that grandma used to make, my grandfather would always go out and pick up a box of fried chicken. I am not sure why. My mom says it's probably to appease the children who love fried food, but I love these little packets of chicken that my grandma used to make. So let's get started. I am starting with three pounds of chicken thighs and we like dark meat, so that's why I'm using chicken thighs but I believe my grandma used to just cut up a whole chicken into parts. I am adding two tablespoons of soy sauce. A tablespoon of oyster sauce. Tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. A tablespoon of vegetable oil. Have two teaspoons of cornstarch and a teaspoon of sugar. And my mom and I disagreed about how grandma put the ginger in. So I remember slivers of ginger so I could pick it off because I didn't like ginger as a kid. But my mom remembers her crushing the ginger. So. I am going to grate this ginger and just put it into the marinade. Oh, and it's about an ounce of ginger. It was the size of a giant swollen thumb. Well, you know, I figured that uh, with the grated ginger, could it be that there'd be more flavor infusion? Maybe. Okay, mixing this up and we're gonna let this marinate for about half an hour. But if you wanted to do this the night before, that's also a really great idea because the longer you let it marinate, the more flavorful it is. So at least half an hour up to overnight. While my chicken is marinating, I'm going to prepare my green onions that I'm just going to put on top of the chicken in the packets. And I'm going to slice them up into slivers. You don't have to if you don't want to, I just, I think by cutting them down, they have a bit more flavor. And then if you don't want to eat them, because I remember as a child, I didn't want to eat them. Um, they're easy to pick off. I'm going to try making these in the Instant Pot today, but my grandmother used to make it in the oven. And if you're going to do it in the oven, it only takes about half an hour. Just preheat your oven to 375 and you can cook them for about 30 to 35 minutes. I just remember that not everyone is going to be home for dinner, so I am going to just make half of this, and the other half I'm going to freeze. And what I'm going to do is, in future, I'm gonna use my jewel to sous vide the chicken from frozen. And it's, I love the jewel for that reason, that I can cook from frozen without having to defrost. And we'll see how it turns out by doing it that way. So I have my parchment paper already cut up and I have just one thigh. I'm gonna put some green onions on top and then we're going to wrap it up. I'm gonna take the two edges, bring them together, fold them down. And then these edges, I'm just going to seal them up really well. My grandmother used to do these in foil packets, so it's easier, but this will do, so long as the sauce doesn't come out when we're cooking. I think what I'm gonna do is just twist the ends. Yeah, that's easier. That's all you really want, is to make sure that it's sealed and that juices aren't gonna come pouring out until you open it over your rice. The reason why I am doing it in packets still, even for the Instant Pot, is because with the Instant Pot, you have to add water to 
create the pressure. And if I put the chicken just into the pot, then the sauce is going to be diluted. And I don't want that. I want all of the juices from the chicken to go right on my rice and not to be diluted by the water. I can't believe how good it smells. It's raw too. <laughs> you know, if you don't like ginger, I would just not grate it into the marinade, but instead just cut it into slivers that you can also just pick off if you don't want it or just leave it all together. I remember my grandmother used to um, put a toothpick into the fold of the foil packets for the ones that did not have ginger so that the kids didn't have to deal with it. Another meal for another day. I've added a cup of water into my Instant Pot and I am putting in the trivet. And then we're just gonna lay the chicken down. Putting on the lid. Locking it into place, make sure the ceiling knob is on ceiling, and we're just going to cook it for 10 minutes on high pressure. That's it. At the very least, it takes up way less energy to do it in the pot than in the oven. Hopefully it'll taste just as yummy. If that didn't take too long, I quick released, did I turn it off? There we go. I quick released the pressure. And we're just gonna open it up now. Mmm, it smells so yummy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna do it with my hands. It should be fine. As long as I bring up the right packet. Okay, I don't know if you can see already, like all the juices in there. Oh yeah. Right? It's like a giant dumpling. Oh my goodness. Oh. I can't wait, but let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, I have a little bowl of rice here. Pour the sauce on top. Wow, that sauce, it's got like... Well, we're just doing this... ...pieces in there of like the ginger and whatnot. And this is just for the taste. You would have probably more rice on your plate if this was a full dinner, plus veggies. That sauce would go on top of everything. Are you all ready for? Mm. The taste. Well, it looks pretty tender just by pushing on it. Mm. Nice, delicate aroma, not an overpowering dish. I'm a big fan of sauces and gravies to go with rice, as you guys may know by now. Mm. I'm just sparing you guys from all the ASMR chewing and, and, and sounds and stuff. First bite, very moist and delicious chicken. The flavors that you put into it, a combination of, you know, just very basic stuff, the Shaoxing wine and the, and the ginger and the soy, just presents a very, very clean taste, flavorful but not salty, and uh, and with the texture of the chicken cooked nicely in the instant pot, and also I gotta I gotta think that you know whatever marinade you put into it and the amount of uh, pressure cooking that happened is that it drove the flavors into the meat, and that with a whole packet full of flavored, deep flavored sauce on rice. I think I think it's a winner. And it's not diluted by like just making the chicken dish in the pot on its own with more liquid. Yeah, I, I think it's different from the other dishes that you've cooked in the pressure cooker, the Asian ones that have, you get a pool of the sauce at the bottom. And I, I, it's, it's different. It's different as it comes out of the packet. But maybe that's just my own imagination. But it's good. 
Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thanks, dude. All right. I hope you guys will give this super simple recipe a try and that it helps with your question of what's for dinner tonight. Check out my other Asian recipes and we'll see you over there.